Intrigued by the unknown? Prepare to embark on a journey through 20 of history's most spine-tingling enigmas. From the depths of the Bermuda Triangle to the ancient stones of Nazca, science has peeled back the layers of mystery, offering startling clarity to tales once shrouded in intrigue. Are you ready to uncover the truths behind these once perplexing mysteries? Number one, the Bermuda Triangle mystery. The Bermuda Triangle, a stretch of the Atlantic Ocean bordered by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, has long been the centerpiece of maritime legends and lore. Dubbed the Devil's Triangle, it gained notoriety for a series of mysterious disappearances of ships and aircraft. The tales are as numerous as they are chilling, vessels vanishing without a trace, compasses spinning wildly, and distress calls abruptly silenced. For decades, these stories fueled speculation of paranormal activity, alien abductions, and even the lost city of Atlantis. However, the veil of mystery began to lift as scientists and researchers delved deeper. It turns out the Bermuda Triangle isn't as enigmatic as folklore suggests. Studies have shown that the rate of incidents in this area is comparable to other heavily traveled regions of the world. Experts point to a combination of natural phenomena and human error. The Triangle's weather is unpredictable, with sudden storms and rogue waves. The Gulf Stream, a powerful ocean current, can swiftly erase evidence of disasters. Moreover, human error and equipment failure play a significant role. In our quest for the extraordinary, it seems we overlooked the most logical explanations, the forces of nature and our own fallibility. Thus, the Bermuda Triangle mystery, once a symbol of the unexplainable, stands as a testament to the power of scientific reasoning and rational thought. Number 2. The Identity of Jack the Ripper The identity of Jack the Ripper, the infamous serial killer who terrorized the Whitechapel District of London in the late 19th century, has baffled experts for over a century. The gruesome nature of the murders and the taunting letters sent to the police contributed to a legend that seemed beyond unraveling. However, with the advent of modern forensic science, new light has been shed on this dark chapter of history. Recent breakthroughs have emerged from the realm of DNA testing. Forensic scientists have analyzed materials from the crime scenes, most notably the shawls and letters believed to be linked to the Ripper. This cutting-edge analysis has provided new leads, with some researchers claiming to have identified the killer through genetic evidence. These claims, however, are not without their controversies. The degradation of DNA over time and questions about the provenance of the artifacts have led to debates within the scientific community. Number 3. The Cause of the Black Death The Black Death, a devastating pandemic that ravaged Europe in the 14th century, wiping out an estimated one-third of its population, was long shrouded in mystery. For centuries, its cause was a topic of speculation, with theories ranging from divine punishment to astrological events. It wasn't until the advent of modern science that the true culprit was identified, Yersinia pestis, a deadly bacterium. This breakthrough came with the development of advanced microbiological techniques. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Scientists like Alexandra Yersin and Shibasaburo Kitasato isolated the bacterium, linking it conclusively to the plague. Further evidence emerged from DNA analysis of skeletons in plague pits, which confirmed Yersinia pestis as the agent responsible for the Black Death. Number 4. The Disappearance of the Dinosaurs The disappearance of the dinosaurs, a mystery that captivated scientists for decades, found a groundbreaking explanation in the Alvarez hypothesis. Proposed in 1980 by father-son duo Luis and Walter Alvarez, this theory suggested that a massive asteroid impact caused the mass extinction event 66 million years ago, marking the end of the Cretaceous period. The Alvarez hypothesis centered around a unique discovery, a worldwide layer of sediment containing unusually high levels of iridium, an element more common in asteroids than in the Earth's crust. This layer corresponded precisely with the geological boundary of the dinosaur's extinction. The hypothesis gained further support with the discovery of the Chicxulub crater in the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico. This vast, submerged crater, measuring about 150 kilometers in diameter, provided compelling physical evidence of an impact of the required magnitude. Subsequent research has bolstered this theory. 
Studies of shocked quartz and other impact-related materials in the boundary layer, simulations of the impact's climatic effects, and analysis of fossilized remains showing a rapid decline in biodiversity all point towards a catastrophic asteroid impact as the primary driver behind the mass extinction. Number 5. The Mystery of Stonehenge Stonehenge, the iconic prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, England, has stood as a source of fascination and speculation for centuries. Theories about its purpose have ranged from an astronomical observatory to a religious temple. However, recent research has shed new light on this enigmatic structure, revealing insights into its actual use and significance. Archaeological studies, using more sophisticated techniques such as ground-penetrating radar and analysis of burial remains, suggest that Stonehenge was primarily a burial ground. Evidence indicates that it was used for this purpose for at least 500 years, much longer than previously thought. The remains of cremated individuals from the Neolithic period have been unearthed at the site, pointing towards a ritualistic aspect of the monument. Further research proposes that Stonehenge also served as a place for healing and pilgrimage. The blue stones used in the construction, transported from Wales, were believed to have healing properties. This theory is supported by the discovery of numerous individuals with injuries or illnesses buried around the site. Number 6. The Sailing Stones of Death Valley The Sailing Stones of Death Valley, California have long been a source of intrigue and mystery. Found on the flat, dry surface of racetrack playa, these rocks, some weighing hundreds of pounds, seem to move across the ground of their own accord, leaving long trails behind them. For years, their mysterious movement spawned numerous theories, including magnetic fields and supernatural forces. The truth, however, was revealed to be as fascinating as any fiction. The mystery was finally solved through a combination of time-lapse photography and weather monitoring. Researchers discovered that the movement of the stones is caused by a unique combination of ice, water, and wind. During winter, the playa fills with a shallow layer of water which then freezes overnight, encasing the stones in thin sheets of ice. As the sun rises, the ice begins to melt, breaking into large floating panels. When the wind blows, these ice sheets with embedded rocks start to move, sliding over the slick, wet mud of the playa. The rocks thus inch forward, pushed by the gentle force of the wind-driven ice. Number 7. The Tunguska Event The Tunguska Event, a colossal explosion that occurred in a remote area of Siberia in 1908, remains one of the 20th century's greatest natural mysteries. With the force of 1,000 Hiroshima bombs, it flattened an estimated 80 million trees over 2,150 square kilometers, yet left no crater. Theories about its cause ranged from a black hole to an alien spaceship, but scientific investigation has steered the consensus towards a more terrestrial explanation. Initially, the lack of extraterrestrial debris at the site posed a challenge to the meteoroid hypothesis. However, subsequent studies suggested that the explosion was an airburst caused by a meteoroid or comet entering the Earth's atmosphere and exploding mid-air. This theory is supported by eyewitness accounts of a bright flash and a hot wind, consistent with the effects of a large object superheating as it plummets through the atmosphere. Number 8. The Mary Celeste The Mary Celeste remains one of the most enduring maritime mysteries, involving the American brigantine found adrift in the Atlantic in 1872, devoid of crew but largely intact. Theories about its abandonment ranged from pirate attacks to mutiny. Modern analysis, however, suggests a more prosaic yet fascinating combination of factors. The ship was carrying a substantial cargo of industrial alcohol, which may have emitted fumes. It's speculated that a minor explosion, or fear thereof, led the crew to abandon ship in a lifeboat, thinking a larger explosion was imminent. Additionally, a faulty chronometer, bad weather, and a waterlogged ship could have disoriented the crew, leading them away from safety. The Mary Celeste is thus a classic example of how a chain of seemingly minor incidents can culminate in a major mystery. Number 9. The Lost Colony of Roanoke The Lost Colony of Roanoke, established on an island off North Carolina in 1587, mysteriously disappeared, leaving behind only the cryptic carving Croatoan. 
Long a subject of speculation, recent evidence suggests a less dramatic but historically significant fate. Archaeological findings such as English and Native American artifacts found in nearby Hatteras Island indicate that the colonists likely assimilated with local Native American tribes. This theory is further supported by European features observed in some tribes in the following centuries. The Roanoke mystery, rather than a tale of tragedy, may in fact be a story of survival and integration. Number 10. The Shroud of Turin The Shroud of Turin, revered by many as the burial cloth of Jesus Christ, has been a subject of intense debate and study. The shroud, bearing the faint image of a man's face and body, has intrigued believers, and skeptics alike for centuries. The turning point in understanding its origins came with radiocarbon dating tests in 1988. These tests, conducted by laboratories in Oxford, Zurich, and Arizona, revealed that the linen cloth was made between 1260 and 1390 AD, suggesting it was a medieval artifact rather than a relic from the time of Christ. This conclusion, however, has not gone unchallenged. Proponents of the shroud's authenticity have questioned the sample's representativeness, suggesting it may have been contaminated or not representative of the whole cloth. Despite the debate, the radiocarbon dating of the Shroud of Turin remains one of the most significant moments in the intersection of faith, history, and science. Number 11. The Mystery of the Loch Ness Monster The Loch Ness Monster, a creature said to inhabit Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands, is one of the most famous legends of the modern era. Despite numerous reported sightings and photographs, comprehensive sonar searches of Loch Ness have consistently debunked the existence of any large, unknown aquatic creature. These extensive searches, using advanced sonar and underwater imaging, have scanned the depths of the loch, revealing no evidence of the mythical monster. While theories of large fish or floating logs explain some sightings, the myth of the Loch Ness monster remains just that. A myth a testament to the power of folklore and the human imagination in the face of unexplained phenomena. Number 12. The Taos Hum The Taos Hum, a mysterious low-frequency sound reported by residents in and around Taos, New Mexico, has been a source of fascination and frustration since the early 1990s. Described as a distant, low rumbling or humming noise, it caused a range of effects from mere annoyance to severe physical discomfort. The enigma of the Taos hum led to a variety of theories, including secret military experiments and extraterrestrial activities. However, scientific investigations have steered the explanation towards more earthly, yet complex, phenomena. Researchers from various disciplines have delved into the mystery, examining environmental and industrial sources, psychological factors, and even the possibility of tinnitus, a condition of hearing noise when no external sound is present. Almost from another planet. Studies considered local geology, acoustic environments, and electromagnetic fields, yet no definitive external source was identified. One significant hypothesis is that the hum is a form of autoacoustic emission, which are sounds generated within the human ear. Every person has a unique sensitivity to certain frequencies, and the Taos hum could be a resonance effect, where specific environmental sounds interact with the listener's auditory system in unusual ways. This theory is supported by the fact that not all Taos residents hear the hum and that those who do hear it describe it somewhat differently. Number 13. The Dancing Plague of 1518 The Dancing Plague of 1518, a bizarre and unsettling event in Strasbourg, France, saw around 400. People taken by an uncontrollable urge to dance. The afflicted danced for days without rest, and reports suggest that some even died from exhaustion, heart attacks, or strokes. This phenomenon, straddling the line between historical fact and folklore, has puzzled historians and scientists alike for centuries. Initially, explanations ranged from religious fervor to astrological influences, but modern analysis suggests a combination of physiological and psychological factors. One prevailing theory is that of mass psychogenic illness, formerly known as mass hysteria. In this scenario, the stress of famine and disease common at the time, could have triggered a collective psychological response, manifesting in an uncontrollable urge to dance. This theory is supported by accounts of similar, albeit smaller, outbreaks in the same region during the medieval period.
Another hypothesis involves ergot poisoning. Ergot, a mold that grows on damp rye and produces substances similar in effect to LSD, could have caused hallucinations and convulsions. This theory, however, has been contested. Ergot poisoning typically leads to symptoms like vomiting and seizures, not prolonged dancing. Number 14. The Disappearance of Amelia Earhart The disappearance of Amelia Earhart, the pioneering aviator who vanished over the Pacific Ocean in 1937 during her attempt to circumnavigate the globe, has long captivated the public imagination. Despite extensive search efforts, neither Earhart nor her navigator Fred Noonan were found, leading to a plethora of theories about their fate. Recent forensic analyses, however, have shed new light on this enduring mystery, offering plausible explanations based on scientific evidence. One of the most significant developments in the case came from the examination of bones found on Nicumaroro Island, formerly known as Gardner Island, in the western Pacific Ocean. For years, these remains were thought to belong to a male castaway, but recent re-examinations using modern techniques suggested that they could, in fact, be Earhart's. Forensic anthropologists applied contemporary forensic methods, including bone measurement analysis and comparison with Earhart's known physical dimensions, to arrive at this conclusion. Although the evidence is not conclusive, it presents a compelling argument that Earhart may have survived the initial crash landing. Adding to this theory is the discovery of artifacts on Nikumaroro that could be linked to Earhart and Noonan. These include items such as a piece of plexiglass that matches the window design of Earhart's Lockheed Electra aircraft, a woman's shoe consistent with 1930s footwear, and improvised tools. There's also anecdotal evidence from locals and fishermen about airplane wreckage sightings around the island. Number 15. The Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript, an early 15th-century book filled with an unknown script and bizarre illustrations, has long been a source of fascination and frustration for cryptographers, linguists, and historians. Named after Wilfred Voynich, who acquired the manuscript in 1912, its origins and content have remained a mystery, leading to various theories, including that it was a hoax. However, recent linguistic analyses have begun to decode aspects of this enigmatic book, offering tantalizing glimpses into its possible meanings. The manuscript is divided into sections based on distinct types of illustrations, including botanical, astronomical, and biological drawings, none of which correspond clearly with known species or objects. This has led some to propose that the manuscript was a pharmacopoeia or a treatise on natural philosophy. Computational linguistic analysis, employing algorithms typically used in deciphering coded. Communications has offered new insights, these studies suggest that the manuscript's language, while unidentifiable, follows consistent grammatical and syntactical rules, akin to those of natural languages. One groundbreaking theory proposes that the manuscript may be written in a Proto-Romance language, an early form of the language family that includes modern French, Spanish, and Italian. This theory emerged from statistical analysis of the text's patterns, comparing them with Romance languages. If valid, this could explain why the manuscript has been so difficult to interpret. The language could be a unique or extinct variant. Number 16. The Bloop The Bloop, an ultra-low frequency and extremely powerful underwater sound detected by the U.S. and National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, in 1997, sparked widespread interest and speculation. Heard over 5,000 kilometers away, this mysterious noise was unlike anything ever recorded, leading to wild theories about its origins, including giant sea creatures or underwater extraterrestrial activity. However, after thorough analysis, scientists identified a natural cause for this enigmatic sound, thereby demystifying one of the ocean's most perplexing puzzles. Initially, the bloop's characteristics, its volume and range, led some to believe it originated from a living creature, as it was several times louder than the loudest known biological sound that made by the blue whale. The sound was detected by hydrophones placed across the Pacific Ocean, part of a global network designed to monitor underwater seismic activity. Its waveform resembled that of a living creature, adding to the intrigue and mystery. The breakthrough in understanding the bloop came from comparing its audio profile with those of known phenomena. 
scientists at NOAA eventually concluded that the noise was consistent with ice calving, events where large chunks of ice break off from glaciers or ice shelves. This happens frequently in Antarctica's ice-ridden waters, where the bloop was originally recorded. The sound was a result of an ice quake, large icebergs fracturing and cracking, a natural and relatively common occurrence in polar regions. Number 17. The Devil's Kettle Waterfall The Devil's Kettle Waterfall, located in Judge C.R. Magny State Park in Minnesota, presents a geological conundrum that has puzzled visitors and scientists alike. The waterfall splits into two, with one side flowing into the Brule River and the other disappearing into a deep pothole, seemingly vanishing without a trace. This mysterious disappearance of water led to numerous theories and myths about where it might end up, ranging from underground rivers to secret portals. For years, the enigma of the Devil's Kettle baffled both the public and the scientific community. Experiments involving dyes, ping-pong balls, and other objects were conducted, with none resurfacing elsewhere, deepening the mystery. The mystery sparked not just scientific curiosity, but also inspired folklore and stories about the waterfall's mystical properties. Number 18. The Moving Rocks of Racetrack Playa The Moving Rocks of Racetrack Playa, a dry lake bed in California's Death Valley National Park, have long captivated observers with their mysterious trails etched into the earth, evidence of their inexplicable movements across the flat surface. For years, these wandering stones, some weighing several hundred pounds, sparked theories ranging from magnetic fields to playful spirits. However, recent scientific investigations have uncovered the natural phenomena responsible for this puzzling spectacle. The solution to the mystery lies in a rare combination of environmental conditions. Researchers discovered that the movement occurs in winter, when the playa fills with water, forming a shallow, transient lake. Overnight, in the frigid temperatures of Death Valley winters, this water freezes into thin sheets of ice. As the morning sun warms the playa, the ice begins to melt and break apart into large floating panels. When light winds blow across the playa, these ice sheets act as a natural conveyor, pushing the embedded rocks slowly across the muddy bottom of the lake bed. Number 19. The Giant Stone Spheres of Costa Rica The Giant Stone Spheres of Costa Rica, also known as Las Bolas, are a collection of over 300 petrospheres scattered throughout the Dikid Delta of southern Costa Rica, ranging in size from a few centimeters to over 2 meters in diameter and weighing up to 16 tons. These near-perfect spheres have been a source of mystery and speculation since their discovery in the 1930s. Early theories posited that they were created by nature, or that they held astronomical significance, or were relics of a lost civilization. Modern archaeological research, however, has shed light on the origins and creators of these intriguing artifacts. It is now understood that the spheres were crafted by the indigenous peoples of Costa Rica, dating back to the Aguas Buenas period, 300-800 AD, and continuing into the Chiriqui period, 800-1550. AD. These spheres were most likely carved using controlled fracturing, grinding, and polishing techniques, with the granodiorite rock being sourced from the foothills of the nearby Talamanca Range. Number 20. The Nazca Lines. The Nazca Lines, a series of large ancient geoglyphs in the Nazca Desert of southern Peru, have fascinated archaeologists and onlookers since their discovery in the 1920s. These impressive earthworks, spanning hundreds of meters, depict various figures ranging from simple lines and geometric shapes to intricate representations of animals and plants. The purpose and significance of these lines have been subjects of speculation and research for decades. Recent studies suggest that the Nazca lines were created by the Nazca culture between 500 BCE and 500 CE and hold both cultural and astronomical significance. One prevailing theory is that these geoglyphs had a religious and cosmological purpose, possibly related to water and agricultural fertility. In a region scarce in rainfall, the lines may have been part of rituals to summon rain or appease deities associated with agriculture.